welcome back to my channel so for this very quick and short video i'm just going to share or show you how you can properly share your screen with your students like you you don't have to entirely share the whole screen with your students which causes them to see all the windows that you have opened on your desktop so if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please support and i hope that i can provide more helpful video tutorials which we can use in our classes or uh which can be very useful in our class management we so let's it, do it. uh using the personal okay yeah my personal um meeting room right so i'm just going to start the video for now yeah but i need to okay enter this this one Okay, this is the personal meeting room that I, I have. Okay, so let's just check that. Okay, give me a moment. All right, so I have already opened my VOOV or my Tencent meeting on my phone. So I'm just going to copy the meeting ID that I have in here. Seven zeros. Okay. So there you go. Oh, there's also a meeting password for that one. I need to. Okay, I need to check that one as well. Okay, so. Okay. So, I'm already joining the meeting. So, since it hasn't started yet, I'm going to turn it on here. I'm. Let me start the video first. So start the video. There you go. All right. So as you see, I have already turned it on. And the moment I... Yeah, let me just oh, let me this just one here. Okay. The moment I turned on, or I mean I started the meeting, um, the other... Okay. And my account also uh, entered immediately. That means that there is no waiting room. All right, so this time, our concern is actually how are you going to properly... Let me... Wait a moment. It's just so noisy here. Okay, so how you're going to properly share your screen with your students without them looking the in, looking at the uh, entirety, right, of your screen. So, of course, the first thing that you have to do is actually to click on this one. Yeah, of course, you have to do that. And once you click on that, you are always shown this pop-up um, box, right? Wherein you see here all the windows that you have opened. So this one is my camera. If I want to share my camera, I have to click on that. And here, the class in. Then my WeChat and also the browser, the Google browser. So now I only want to share with my student the class in Blackboard. So let me check if I have already opened my class in Blackboard. So it's actually here already. I have already opened it earlier. So this time let me go back to my VOOV in here. Yeah. So let me just go to class in and then you see there the window of class in Blackboard. So you only have to click on that one, okay? And if you want the student to hear, yeah, the sound from your PC, because that's what I do when there's like uh, some words I want the student to understand in Chinese, I just type the English word on Google uh, tra uh, Chinese translation, and I just uh, click on that, yeah, uh, click on that um, audio button. I mean, the speaker button, right? On the Google translation uh, yeah, box. And then, yeah, there you go. The, the student will be able to hear already. Okay, so let me just click on this one first, this window. So let us see if the student can only see this window. Okay, so let's check that one. Then share. So there you go. As I see it on my phone, the student can only see this one. Even if I'm going to open another uh, browser in here, for example, I'm going to, um, okay, let me just try to open another window. Okay. 
so you see that okay i open another window but my phone okay doesn't uh, um yeah capture right this window because i did not share this window i only shared the class in blackboard window okay so now perhaps what happened to other teachers was that uh let me just stop sharing screen okay when they clicked on the share screen they immediately chose desktop one because if you choose this one immediately it will definitely show everything in your desktop i mean all the windows will be shown okay so example i'm gonna show okay i'm gonna choose desktop one and see what happens okay share screen all right so there you go i see everything here yeah so if you are just going to choose the window of the class in blackboard the student won't be able to see the other windows that you opened in your computer so even if you're trying to use the dictionary while you're having the class the student wouldn't be able to see the dictionary you're using unless you're going to share that window with the student or you just simply choose the desktop that i have seen uh, shown earlier so that's how uh the share screen works for tencent meeting i i think it's really just similar with zoom in zoom also because i've already used that one as well in uh, in some of my classes before there's a function there wherein you can choose a window only and the same with skype when you're using skype there's also a function there where you can only choose the window that you wanted to share with your students so there you go guys so it's just really simple and very easy to use whoop is definitely a useful tool for us teachers so that's all thank you guys bye